Congratulations on the first steps to a beautiful smile. As discussed in the office, there are a few directions that you should follow to make the first day's embraces successful and comfortable. The adhesive used for attaching the braces to your teeth cures rapidly initially, but takes 24 hours to completely cure. You can eat any time after leaving our office. However, we ask that you be mindful of the suggested list of foods that may be harmful to the braces. Until you become accustomed to eating with your new braces, you may find it beneficial to follow a diet consisting of soft foods. Initially, your braces may feel like they stick out. This is normal. As you become accustomed to your braces and tooth alignment improves, this sensation will disappear. Although the contour of the brackets have been rounded and smoothed, until the cheek tissues have toughened, you may find it helpful to use a small piece of wax around the bracket that is creating the irritation. You will probably notice some discomfort beginning a few hours after your braces were placed. Some teeth, usually the front teeth, may be tender and sensitive to pressure. You may wish to take non-prescription pain remedies commonly used for other discomforts, such as headaches. For maximum effectiveness, it may be best to take such medications before the discomfort begins. There are several routine steps that will minimize discomfort related to irritation from the braces and ensure an optimal response to treatment. Please make these steps a part of each office visit. Using your finger and tongue, check to see that the wire ends do not extend into areas that might poke or abrade the cheek or tongue. Make sure you understand what you are to do until your next appointment. Make sure you have an adequate supply of wax, special cleaning aids, elastic bands, or other related materials you may need between appointments. Always schedule your next appointment before leaving the office. Waiting one to two weeks after an appointment before scheduling your next office visit complicates the scheduling process since appointments are programmed four to eight weeks in advance. Postponing appointments is a common contributor to overtime treatment. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call our office. And while you're in treatment, you must continue to see your family dentist for regularly scheduled cleanings and checkup appointments. There are several basic components that are Brackets are the individual attachments that are bonded to each tooth. They can be metal or a tooth colored material. Bands are metal rings with special attachments that usually are placed around the back teeth. The arch wire is engaged in each bracket and band and delivers the force that moves the teeth. This is an elastic tie or O-ring used to hold the arch wire into the bracket. A somewhat stronger type of an attachment to hold that arch wire in place is called a ligature wire. This is called a power chain and is used to link teeth together and close space. Hooks may be present on your appliances. They are used to attach elastics or special springs or auxiliaries. This is an elastic or rubber band that is often used to help adjust the bite. They are placed by the patient and it's imperative that they be worn as Patients with clear elastic ties should avoid excessive coffee, tea, mustard, red table wines, or foods containing curry because they can stain the clear elastic ties that secure the tooth moving arch wire in place. A bracket or a band can become distorted or displaced and it's usually because of eating the wrong foods, chewing on something hard, or picking at your braces. It's not an emergency unless discomfort is involved. However, you need to call the office to schedule an appointment to replace the damaged loose band or bracket. You'll be seen as soon as possible. These appointments require some extra time and usually can't be done after school or work hours. If a rubber elastic ring or tie comes off, we can get you in for a short visit to have it replaced. In areas where there is a long span of wire, it may come out of the back tooth. If this happens, you may try to reinsert it into the tooth using a pair of tweezers or place wax to hold it in place. As a last resort, you may cut the wire next to the closest bracket using a nail clipper or a small wire cutter. Remember to call your orthodontist before attempting this. For a pokey tie wire or a wire poking out of the back braces, we suggest that you use the back of a pencil eraser to tuck it out of harm's way. If that's not possible, use a piece of wax to cover the area causing the irritation until you can get in for a quick visit. Apply by pinching off a small portion and rolling it into a small ball. 
The key to getting the wax to adhere is to dry off all saliva around the irritation. Then place a small ball of wax where it's needed and gently mold it with your fingers until it's comfortable. Remove the wax to eat or brush and reapply if necessary. The doctor will give you an ample supply of this wax when you get your braces. And remember, whenever you are having difficulty, feel free to call the office so that your questions can be answered and the appropriate appointment can be scheduled. It is not unusual to experience some soreness or discomfort from orthodontic movement, especially after an adjustment appointment. This usually lasts from one to four days. Over-the-counter analgesics such as Advil, Motrin, or aspirin will help to alleviate this discomfort. For children under the age of 12, use the dosage recommended for children indicated on the label. Warm salt water rinses also are helpful in reducing the swelling of irritated gums or cheeks. One teaspoon of salt to eight ounces of warm water is recommended. Also, topical anesthetics are useful in relieving the discomfort from fever blisters, cold sores, irritated cheeks, or sore gums. Use them according to the labeled instructions. They are available at your local drugstore. Certain foods have to be avoided or changed in order to avoid damage to your braces. That can help save unwanted costs for repairs and delays in your treatment time. No gum or sticky foods such as caramels, licorice, now and later, starbursts, or skittles. Avoid hard foods such as nuts, hard candy, hard pretzels, hard taco or tostada shells, crusted bread, and tortilla chips. Minimize your sugar intake. This means avoiding cookies, candy, soda laced with sugar, and high sugar fruit juices. These foods, in combination with braces and without scrupulous oral hygiene, are disastrous. Remember to brush your teeth or at least rinse vigorously with water after eating or drinking anything sugary. Cut apples and carrots into bite-sized pieces. Cut corn away from the cob and meat away from the bone. Habits that can be harmful to appliances include chewing on ice, pens or pencils, fingernails, and picking at your braces. They not only knock bands and brackets loose, they also bend and distort the arch wires, which results in your teeth moving in the wrong direction and greatly increasing your treatment time. A good rule of thumb is not to play with your braces, and when it comes to food, if it's hard or even sort of hard, don't chew on it. To prevent damage to your teeth during your treatment, thorough oral hygiene is imperative. Poor or mediocre care of your teeth can and probably will cause permanent and unsightly damage to your teeth. Don't let this happen. Develop a pattern of brushing that covers all the surfaces of all your teeth. Brush the entire surface of each tooth using an oval or circular motion with a toothbrush. Tilt it and brush slowly around the braces. That's where plaque and debris accumulate. Concentrate on the area between the braces and the gums, gently placing the bristles under the gum tissue. Focus on spots that have hooks and attachments because plaque and food particles accumulate there. Brush the chewing or biting surfaces of the teeth and the inside surfaces of the teeth and don't forget your tongue. Your teeth and appliances should shine after each brushing. Brush after each meal or snack and at bedtime. Floss between the teeth at least once a day. Use a fluoride rinse at night. And you can always swish water vigorously between your teeth whenever you have the chance. The added benefit is substantial. For areas between the teeth, flossing is important to prevent cavities, infected or swollen gum tissue, and permanent white spots on the teeth. The key to flossing is to get the floss under the arch wire. You can do this several ways. Use a floss threader with a length of floss, or you can use a type of floss that has a stiff end to make it easier to place between the teeth. Or if the gum tissue between the teeth is not in the way, you can use plain floss and manipulate it under the arch wire. When using floss, place it under the arch wire and wrap it around the side of one tooth in the form of a C. Move the floss up and down gently, making sure it goes under the gum tissue.
Then do the side of the adjacent tooth and remove the floss. Repeat the process between the next two teeth and continue around the arch until you have cleaned the sides of all your teeth. It does take a bit of time, but this way you can prevent dental disease and shorten your treatment time. It's well worth the effort. There is a special kind of brush that's used for those hard to reach spaces around your braces. It's this little guy, a proxy brush. Place the proxy brush under the arch wire and gently clean around the attachments and under the wire. If there's space, gently push the proxy brush between the teeth with a rotating motion. Don't force it, but try to do this between all of the front and back teeth if you can. Mouth guards that fit over your braces should be worn while participating in any contact sport. Your orthodontist can provide these protective devices or tell you where you can purchase them.